guys out there in YouTube land, sisters and brothers in Christ. This is Rena with 1111 Revelation Channel. And uh, what I wanted to do is to just say hello to everyone. And I hadn't made any videos this weekend. Uh, except for one. And I wanted to get back to some important things that I was reading out of the Book of Enoch and it's about the luminaries and the heavens. Just one moment. How is everybody? I hope everybody is good. I know I'm a mess. <laughs> it's okay though. Um, the Lord is coming soon. I did want to say that. Uh, he is coming soon. I just feel it in my spirit. And the Lord is amazing. Um, I wanted to read something real quick. Just, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Let me just get, let me see if I can find it real quick, okay? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm like, just... Okay. I think it's coming up right here. Okay, well... I'm just going to start here, chapter 20, which is in the book of Enoch. These are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels who is over the world, turmoil and terror. Raphael, one of the holy angels who is over the spirits of men. And also, we are not Catholic here, so we do not pray to angels, okay? I'm just reading out of the book of Enoch and what it's stated in here. And there's something that I'm getting to after this that I wanted to read to you. So Raquel, uh, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels set over the virtues of mankind and over chaos. Sarah Kel, one of the holy angels who is set over the spirits who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. Ramiel, one of the holy angels whom God set over those who rise. Notice how they all have L's at the end of their names, like our father, well, Imanu, which is God is with, with us is, an L at the end is the almighty God. So with us is, is Imanu, L. Emmanuel, with us is God. So all the angels, these top angels, have L's on the end of their name, um, proceeding uh, just so that they were named after the great almighty L. And he did create them, and he created us. And it's all for purpose and all for reason. Then I proceeded to where the things were chaotic and void. Uh, where things were chaotic and void, excuse me, and I saw there something horrible. I saw neither heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw seven stars of heaven bound together in it like a great, like great mountains and burning with fire. Then I said, for what sin are they bound and on, and why, and on why have they been cast in here? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels who was with me, and was chief over them, Enoch, why do you ask and why are you eager for the truth? There are some of the stars of heaven which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord and are bound here until 10,000 years, the time entailed by their sins are consummated. And I went out from there to another place which was still more horrible than that. Okay, I kind of wanted to skip past this. Okay. Why is it that that part that I love, okay, this is 22, which is very interesting. It's, it's talking about, um, Abel, 
and then how his spirit cries up and will always cry up until the seed of Cain, his seed, is completely destroyed off the earth. Now, let's just think about this logic realistically. If, if they were twins or even brothers, that would mean, which they aren't, they, not, they never were, they... Um, it was different fathers, okay? So, and that is possible. You can look it up and research it. So, there was a different father for Cain than Abel. And notice, Abel also has the L on the name of it. Cain was of the son of, well, the devil. The son of the devil, in my opinion. So, Okay. And this is the place I wanted to, this is so beautiful. Okay. Okay. This is it. Chapter 24 out of the book of Enoch. You guys, I love it. And then I'm going to let you go, but I wanted you to hear this because it's absolutely beautiful. And this is what's going to happen very soon in the distant future. And chapter 24. And from here I went to another place on the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of fire which burned day and night, and I went beyond it and saw seven magnificent mountains, all differing from each other, and their stones were magnificent and beautiful, and their form was glorious, three towards the east, one founded on the other, and three toward the south, one on the other and deep rough ravines, no one of which joined with any other. And the seventh mountain was in the midst of these. It was higher than them, resembling the seat of a throne. And fragrant trees encircled the throne, and among them was a tree such as I had never smelled, nor was any among them, or were others like it. It had a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms and wood would never, ever wither, not ever. And its fruit is beautiful, and its fruit resembles the dates of a palm. Then I said, how beautiful is this tree and fragrant, and its leaves are fair, and its blooms very delightful in appearance. Then Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me, and was their leader, spoke, and he said to me, Enoch, why do you ask me about the fragrance of the tree, and why do you wish to learn the truth? Then I answered him, saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered, saying, This high mountain, which you have seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne where the Holy Great One, the Lord of glory, the eternal King, will sit when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as for this fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it until the great judgment. So that'll be after the millennial reign. When he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its completion forever. Now, chapter 22 out of Revelation does talk about this tree. I believe it's 22. Yes. Blessed, well, it says, Blessed are they that do his commandments and that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. But it talks about the healings, the, the leaves that heal the nations. From this tree as well okay here it is chapter 22 and he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding out of the throne of God and the lamb and of the lamb in the midst of the street of it and on either side of the river was there the tree of life which bore 12 manner of fruits and yielded her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations and there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there will be no night there, guys. I love you guys all in Jesus. And please put on every single day 
Gird about the truth. Take the whole armor of God and put it on and stand therefore with your loins girt about with the truth and having the breastplate of righteousness, righteousness on and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace and above all taking the shield of faith, okay? And that's to quench all the fiery darts from the enemy and then the helmet of salvation and your sword in the spirit. And that sword minus the S is the word. And that is truly the weapon. Okay, because when you use the word of God, you chop, you dash, you dice all the ears and the eyeballs and the heads off of all of the minions of the hierarchy of Satan. I do plead the blood of Jesus over this entire airspace. Thank you, Father God. And I also hedge in all believers. I do pray for all of you guys who watch this channel. I do love you guys. And um, let me just give you a quick hug from me to you. And I love you. And um, just have a blessed day the rest of the day, guys. And prepare. We are so close. And um, I've just been at peace. Like there's just an incredible peace that's over me, you guys. It's about six o'clock or so. I don't know, maybe a little after, but we've got a beautiful day here in Missouri. See the blue puffy white cotton ball clouds. That's how you can tell it's not the chemicals that they spray um, normally. And you can tell the difference. You just can. I'm 55. I can tell the difference. Okay. We know the difference. And that's all I can think of to say for now, guys. If anybody has any comments, please leave them down in the comment section. But I am going to, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be reading uh, the rest of the calendar on in the Book of Enoch and how it's described. It's beautiful. And um, may the Lord shine upon you and just keep searching and keep talking to him because he loves it when you talk to him and if you aren't saved a admit you're a, sin a sinner in need of a savior b is believe with all your mind heart and soul c is confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and call upon his name because the more you get down and call upon his name um he's gonna reveal himself to you and d is deliverance demonstrated or demonstrated deliverance when you receive a water baptism and then the gifts will be bestowed down upon you whichever your gifts are the lord has planned this from the beginning since before the foundation was even laid this world was even put together he knew us before we even came okay before we were even put here so I love y'all in Christ, and again, just all blessings and honor and glory and power unto our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, sitting at the right hand of the Father, serving victoriously and reigning victoriously. He is amazing and awesome and holy and true, and He knows all of our hearts. Have a blessed day, and happy, happy um, to all of you out there that are feeling down just write to me or write how you're feeling. There's nothing to be afraid of. No fear. And perfect love casts out all fear. Okay? So I love you all in Christ Jesus. Amen.